Puerto Rico is famous for its pristine beaches and turquoise waters, but it's also home to beautiful mountains full of mystical waterfalls and rivers. Join us in this two-part series as we explore the majestic mountains of Puerto Rico. Hello everyone and welcome to Road Tales. Today we're going to be taking you on the ultimate mountain road trip in Puerto Rico. We're going to start off in Hayuya and then go to Utuado where we're going to be staying in a beautiful cabin in the mountains tonight. And tomorrow we're going to go to Adjuntas in Yalco. Along the way we're going to show you some amazing nature spots and some great restaurants. We hope you enjoy this journey with us. Our adventure today starts with a two and a half hour drive from San Juan to the mountains of Hayuya. Our first stop is Cafe Tres Picachos. Along the same route, you can also find El Toro de Doña Juana, an impressively tall waterfall alongside the road. Check out our Toro Negro forest video for more information on Doña Juana. Established in 1960, the family-owned Hacienda Tres Picachos is a must-stop if you're in Hayuya. The hacienda is surrounded by a breathtaking view of the Tres Picachos Mountains and is full of historical antiques and objects related to Taino and Puerto Rican culture. We're at Hacienda Tres Picachos and this is the coffee shop. And you can see behind me that there's a really cool bridge here over a river. This is a really beautiful place to come and have a meal with your family. So I'm actually not a coffee drinker, but I decided to try this coffee. This is so delicious. I think I might be have to be a coffee drinker now. Offering a delicious breakfast, amazing coffee, and an incredible ambiance, Cafe Tres Picachos is a great place to visit with your family. Your kids, and your inner child if you're like me, will enjoy the swings, the peacocks, and all the other animals you can find. Now we're taking a short drive to our next stop, Piedra Escrita. La Piedra Escrita translates roughly as the engraved stone. The area is a large protected park with a good parking lot and a beautiful long boardwalk that takes you to the river. So getting there is quite accessible. The Piedra Escrita itself is right in the river at the end of the boardwalk. We just had an amazing coffee at Café Tres Picachos. And now we are at the Piedra Escrita, also in Hayuya. This is a sacred site of the Tainos, the native peoples of Puerto Rico, where they wrote petroglyphs on the rock to communicate with their gods. Piedra Escrita is an impressive boulder carved with petroglyphs by the indigenous people of Puerto Rico, the Tainos. Surrounded by a peaceful mountain view, Piedra Escrita shows us how the Tainos were deeply in touch with nature and their spirituality. This area is also a popular swimming spot. This is a really fun walk and it's a great place for photographers because there's a lot of wildlife and of course the petroglyphs are really cool to take pictures of. Now let's continue our mountain adventure. Just five minutes from Piedra Escrita, you'll find the Semi Museum, devoted to ancient religious artifacts of the Taino culture. This is the Semi Museum in Hayuya. Semis are sculptures that the Tainos built to house ancestral spirits or deities. Shaped like a semi, this museum showcases the history of the Tainos. The Tainos believed that the semi carvings housed ancestral spirits and brought them back to life. 
Siamese were made of stone and other materials, and though designs varied, the three-pointed form was a common element. Scholars believe that the Siamese shape was inspired by the Tres Picachos mountain, which the Tainos held sacred. So we just went to the Semi Museum, and that was a really fun stop, and it was actually a really good idea to go there after the Piedra Escrita because they have good bathrooms there. So now we're on our way to Cañón Blanco, which is one of the most beautiful nature sites in Puerto Rico, in Utuado. 40 minutes from the Semi Museum, we find one of the most impressive landscapes on the island, Cañón Blanco. Located in Utuado, Cañón Blanco is a water-carved canyon on the Caonillas River. The bright white color, smooth texture, and interesting shapes of the towering rocks make it a truly unique landscape in Puerto Rico and in the whole world. The most famous boulder in the canyon is called El Sofá because it looks like a huge couch. Here we are at El Cañón Blanco. We parked at the El Sofá parking and then walked down the street and followed the signs to the El Cañón Blanco Trail. The reflections in the water are so beautiful and there are cute little fish in the water. There's even sand like it's a beach. So it's a really interesting ecosystem. Certainly, El Cañón Blanco should be on your Puerto Rico travel list. It's one of those rare places that feels even more impressive in person than it looks in the pictures. El Sofa has been very popular on Instagram lately as it's a fun place to take a memorable selfie. When the water is clear, people enjoy swimming and wading in the canyon. Since we went after a week of torrential rain, the water was brown and not clean enough to enter. However, the water is usually clear and perfect for a refreshing dip. We made it to El Sofa! Once you get to the watering hole after the first trail, you just keep hiking on the rocks to the left. And it's a really cool rock and a beautiful canyon. Uh, it's been raining a lot lately, so the water doesn't exactly look very inviting. So we're not gonna go in the water, but if you come on a week when it hasn't been raining very much, I've seen pictures that look really, really pretty. So before we go to our beautiful mountain cabin, we're gonna explore this place a little bit more and just enjoy nature. After an amazing experience in Cañón Blanco, now we're driving to our cabin to relax and enjoy a quiet evening. On the way, we're going to visit the Utuado Beer Garden for a late dinner and some well-deserved refreshments. We arrived at our Airbnb. It's called Cabaña La Carriona, and it's really dreamy. Uh, from the pictures, I thought it was going to be small, but it's really actually quite big. And the decor is really nice. It's like a cowboy chic modern decor and it's really cool inside. We're really happy with our day. We had really good sunlight and great weather even though it's been raining lately. And we were able to pick up some Christmas gifts for our family like, um, like coffee from Cafe Tres Picachos. So yeah, we had a great day and now we're gonna have a nice dinner. We're finishing off our day at the Beer Garden with Tuado. We've had a really nice day, but we didn't have lunch, so we're really hungry, especially since we hiked a little bit. So we're super excited to have some cold beers and some good food and then relax later on tonight. In our next video, we will be visiting Hacienda Sotomayor and two of the most impressive waterfalls we've ever seen in Puerto Rico. So stay tuned for part two of the ultimate Puerto Rico mountain road trip. Thank you so much for watching and remember, go out, live, explore, and create great memories that will last a lifetime.